Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be talking about Lilith on the support guide. I do apologize for my slow uh, post. I've been helping my cat and unfortunately he did pass away this morning. Um, he was pretty healthy so it was very unexpected. Uh, we took him to the vet and he just kind of had a heart attack when they gave him a sedative to look at his body and do x-rays. Um, so unfortunately he didn't make it but uh, I appreciate everybody who has reached out and the post will be kind of slow in the next couple of probably week or so. So bear with me and I do apologize, but uh, let's go ahead and hop straight into it. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about her uh, talents real quick. First is Crystal Coy. This is her quote unquote healing talent, but we're not actually going to go this for healing because it actually is just a basically downside for a little bit of healing. So we're not going to go Crystal Coy, but it does uh, reduce the cost of your abilities by 35% blood health. Uh, and increases your healing done by 15%, but it does reduce your damage by 25%. So do not go this talent. It is not your best healing talent because it has that big downside. And as support, you're wanting to do quite a bit of damage while healing. And especially with Lilith, Lilith does a lot of damage. Maelstrom, it just makes your swarm go around you instead of actually being able to place it anywhere you want. Uh, so it's just more of a gimmick. But it can be fun. So if you're trying to just have fun, go for it. But it's just where we're going, going. And this is the main build. Go ahead and pause and read the uh, cards if you want them. Uh, I'm a little bit late to the uh, thing. We're going to start off with Morale Boost because this character is very good at spamming. Uh, okay, so let's cover what she does. She has Swarm. Swarm is going to be just a stationary healing area uh, that you're just going to be able to place anywhere you want. And you're going to be able to place this uh, either on point just to buy us a bit of time. We're going to go ahead and actually head over here to heal Sadi. And as you see, we're healing her while not being near her. We're actually going to get this a little bit further up. And give her that kiss. And that's going to keep her alive. Uh, and it's actually going to do more healing the longer it's on somebody. So that is uh, her hex. That's going to be her right click for me. And the longer it is on somebody, the more healing it's actually going to do. Uh, I'm not sure the base values, but yeah. It doesn't cost blood health either. Uh, blood Swarm does cost a little bit of blood health. It costs 825. I guess not a little bit, but you know, quite a bit. Uh, and it's actually going to be the main way you get back your blood health. The way to get back your blood health is by healing people with Swarm and with your Hex and your ultimate. But we will talk about that uh, as soon as we get there. We're actually going to help her out here. And then we can kind of chase her, but we're still a little bit far and I can't hit my shots that well. I'm going to hold here and then do that. She did just dash back quite a far. I want to get over here and heal them. And then we're going to have our movement ability, as you can see there. Uh, it's just going to cost 325 blood health, or 350 blood health, my bad. And it's going to send us quite a bit far. We do have a card to help with that vertical angle with it. We're going to try and keep our Genos up here. And then help with our Sadi. Unfortunately, she is not in our swarm. Just going to get that on him. And then heal her. So you have way amazing mobility. Uh, very good lateral control once you get that uh, lateral card on. Ooh, we're gonna try to live this grockle. I probably could have healed him there, but it was a little bit far out. Uh, try and heal her up. That's actually a really good Ash ult. He did, she did get stuck. We're actually gonna ult here. Her ult's gonna give everybody 30% shrew uh, healing or lifesteal. So they basically become unkillable for oh, quite a while, actually. I don't know, I didn't know the whole. And for 8 seconds, so they also gain increased movement speed. So yeah, that is her hit breakdown. So now that we understand how she is, kind of talk about how she plays. She's very good at zone control. She's very good with basically just about any any comp, really. Uh, Brawl, I would say, is one of her better comps, just because she can put the swarm on the points or in a zone, and they can just brawl while having basically perma healing. And she's very good at just farming ult because of how much healing she does. Uh, she doesn't heal squishies that well with her kiss. Or Hex, whatever you want to call it. Uh, just because it is based on time and it having very high healing is going to make it a lot better with tanks. If you're running a triple tank comp, uh, she's going to be probably your best healer. She's going to be your best healer, basically. For triple tank comps, which you don't see too often, but uh, they do happen. Yeah, that is the breakdown of her abilities, ultimate, and her more or less play style. I'd say she's best with a brawl comp. Let's talk about her best items. Morale boost and Kronos are going to be her more core items. Uh, simply because she does farm ult really easily. As you saw there, I ulted and then I got it up really quickly. 
Uh, Murder Sin 10, I didn't actually talk about this. So when you mark somebody with Hex or Swarm and you basic attack them, you're just going to get increased attack oh, speed. So it's going to give you that bit of uh, yeah. self-defense, like defense, basically. Uh, and doesn't give you any downsides, which is why it is her best talent, even though it isn't directly buffing your healing. I'm actually going to put this on her real quick. And then head over here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and ult here. Give us that bit of pressure. And then head over here. Get that onto him. Unfortunately, he did just get sniped. Couldn't do much there. We're going to get that hex onto him. And then put this here since nobody else is over there. And then we're going to try to heal our Ash. You're very mobile as this character. You're really just trying to keep moving around. Uh, keep you hard to hit. Uh, we're going to keep this guy up and getting our, our hex there. And then put the swarm down. So, as you saw with the swarm, you can actually charge it. This is going to increase the effectiveness of your healing. As you can see there. It's just going to heal uh, more. I accidentally dash into that, but it's okay. Um, so, yeah. We're, you're just trying to keep mobile. Keep moving around. Keep healing everybody. Do damage whenever you can. And yeah, that is it's a benefit of uh, Lilith. Very mobile, very high healing. Very impressive with how much uh, damage and healing she can have. We're just going to try to peel him out there. And then keep this up. Put that on him since he does have the hex on him. And then we're just going to reapply the hex there. And then move over here. Get that on the point. As you can see, we do have a lot of point control. Alright, so... Kind of misplayed a little bit, but we went ahead and got full morale boost up, so we're going to be really farming ult here. Very impressive ultimate, very good with dive especially, and high DPS targets, uh, just because they do use life steal usually the best, but it is very good with burst damage sometimes. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to go ahead and wait for our team here. But yeah, she does a ton of damage, very good at keeping a zone uh, intact, especially point. You're able to really control point, uh, like heavily. Uh, that's probably her best strength is just being able to heavy control point basically forcing a dive onto her uh, Just to be able to feel like you have pressure a little bit. We're actually gonna push up here a little bit We're gonna keep our Saudi alive. We're gonna try not to take too much book damage While healing her there and then we're just getting that healing. We're gonna go ahead and heal our Janos First shot Koga was a little bit overextended, but it is okay Okay, we're gonna go get and head Go ahead and get the uh, second Kronos. See him. What are her strengths? She does very good at hi uh, healing very high health targets. Very good with dive, I would say. Very good on defense, too. She does have pretty good self heal. Especially with this uh, lateral movement. Very good. And then being able to play Swarm down, doing a lot of damage. Or kiss an enemy and then attacking them. And her basics actually do a lot of damage. They do 625. And when you hit somebody that is uh, affected by a hex, your ammo actually gets refunded to you. So you can technically have infinite ammo against anybody who you have marked. We're just kind of walking through how we're going to play here. Again, being very mobile. Being very uh, knowledgeable of where people are. You really have to know where people are. Because she, she can be unsafe. I mean, you do lose, you do lose a lot of health when you're using this character. Since she does expend health for um, for abilities. So you do have to be very careful of how you use her abilities. And uh, when you use her abilities, especially. Something I did fail to mention was that when you do cast your ult, uh, it does give you 50% mitigation and blood regeneration every one second. I think it's like half her health or something like that every one second. Or like 800, something like that. She gains a lot of blood health every second. So you do get a lot of sustainability. If you're getting dove, you can pop ult for that 50% mitigation. And uh, yeah, very safe on the dive, especially there. So after Mirabus and Kronos, what do you really want to go? Well, it just depends on the team. You do use Wrecker quite good. You can use Nimble, Master Writing. You can use just about anything. Uh, that's still good because you increase your base health by still a decent bit. So it gives you that bit of survivability while keeping all of your blood health. So I would say that is a, a decent pickup. Uh, vet armor plating anything to really keep you up and tanky is good I would even say bloodbath is pretty decent on this character even though the item itself isn't that good You have a lot of healing overall So you are able to get quite a bit of e limbs, especially with the dive You can usually just put your hex on somebody and then they dive so bloodbath is good uh, Wrecker is good all basically you can use just about any item that you really want just fill the item slots up And you're good to go. This is going to be the most important point. We're actually going to try to get this over there did you see Fern here? It's going to be the most important point since it's the uh, winning point. Just gonna try and keep her up. We put this on this edge right here. 
We do have that hex on there. Unfortunately, Kogo was just a little bit out of position, a bit too far up. As you see, we have two two uh, vet here, and we do have a lot of health. We have forty one hundred health. This is more than uh, barrack in the game. It's more than a lot of base health uh, tanks. It's a lot of health. So yeah, you are very tanky. We're just gonna try to keep her up here. And you can quickly ca ca uh, cast it just to get that quick healing out, but most of the time you do want to try and charge uh, the heal. Uh, hopefully my Koga lives so my Genos can go ahead and heal him. We're actually gonna ult him. And then get this healing onto her. As well as that Hex. We are getting quite a bit of kills. We're gonna move over here, give her that Hex. We're just keeping mobile, keeping the heals spread out. Uh, we're gonna try and keep her up here. We can cast that on that wall there to confirm it. Unfortunately, could not keep her up. We're gonna move the points here. And then we're gonna move over here. We're just keeping mobile, keeping those heals spread out. So they can't, uh, kill everybody. We're actually going to cast it on him, and then plate this on point, just to use that damage. As you can see, we're doing a lot of damage. And then go ahead and move that there. You can do it over walls, kind of similar to Kasumi's uh, Haunted Grounds. You can position yourself like here, and then do it. And then go ahead and put that there, and move over here, since I'm getting crushed. And his dash is down. Go ahead and ult. Hopefully keep my team up. And unfortunately, we can't. We're actually going to touch point at the last second. And then just try and do what we can here. Unfortunately, that was an amazing Fernando ult. And that is GG. Alright, so here are the results. We have 2, 5, and 21. Not the best KDA, but it is okay. 83k damage. Almost 84k. We almost got up to Sadi's level. I mean, we were only about 20k off. And then 132k healing. The most healing in the lobby. So, we did a ton of damage and a ton of healing. Absolutely amazing for this character. Again, just be mobile. Keep those heals spread out. Uh, just keep keep your team alive man you have amazing mobility amazing heals one of the best ultimates in the support class true true life seal is just insane so go ahead and be playing this character especially she's very good for uh carrying ranked honestly you can just kind of play this character keep your whole team alive and then pop that ultimate so they can kind of snowball off so yeah that is lilith uh we have a few more support guides and then we're going to be moving on to the tank guide so if you're enjoying the content and you want to see more of those go ahead and drop a sub and a like and if you don't drop a dislike it does help me out and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out